Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I've got an awesome video. We are going to continue on the Becoming a Radio Master playlist. In today's video for the Radio Master, what we are going to do is learn how to use our sounds. We're going to learn how to take sounds that are already on the radio and program them to switches. So that way, when we flick certain switches, we can get certain sounds and we can be as cool or as professional or as funky or as awesome as we want to be. And this is going to be very simple and very fun. So let's power it up and let's go over the basics. Okay, our radio is on. So let's use a basic switch function. So right here, we're gonna say is my arm switch. So when I go down, I wanna disarm. So I wanna tell the radio to tell me to disarm when I'm disarming. So that way everybody can hear it or maybe my cool video that I'm making can hear it or maybe I'm a professional pilot and I want my staff or my customers to know that I have just disarmed my quadcopter. So we're gonna jump into the system and then we're gonna head over to model setup and look for special functions. When we get there, you're gonna see that we've already accumulated a few and these are exciting. And if you missed out on these, you can go back to the previous videos that you have probably missed and you can have some fun setting this stuff up. Let's head down to special function number four, which is right here. All right, now we want our trigger to be this switch because we just disarmed. So if it's this switch and I go up, well, that's not going to trigger it. It needs to be the exact position that I want it to be when I want it to make that sound, which will be down. So now we've done that. And the radio has found that all on its own. You can also scroll through and just find them and program them if you know the names of them. In this radio, everything is labeled S, B, S, A, so on and so forth. But maybe your radio is not labeled or maybe you just don't have the time for that. Just flick the switch. It'll find it for you. So I'm going to select S, B, and that is for down. Okay. Now, before I go over playing the track and getting the custom sound, I do want to show you that you can also use a very cool one called play sound. And from here, you're going to get beeps and tones and ringing and things like that. Nowhere near as awesome as actual talking, but just to show it to you really quick, we'll play a sound. And I'm going to go to the value and let's try with a warning like warn one and I'll move it. Well, it's not going to work because I haven't enabled it yet. So we're going to repeat one time and we're going to enable. So you ready? There you go. Now let's try a couple others. Siren. How about sci-fi? Very cool. So you can play around with those sounds if you'd rather have sounds rather than actual voice talking. All right, let's head back up and let's jump into play track because that's where we actually wanna be. Now we're gonna pick our value and our value is gonna be of hundreds of options. I mean, look at this, this goes on and on and on and on. But what I'm looking for is disarm. So that should be somewhere around D, I hope. Good grief. And you, if you don't know the name and you can't find the name, I mean, it, it can take some time. So fortunately, disarm is actually called disarm. Enable. Disarmed. There you go. Disarmed. All right. So that is disarmed. Now you know how to do that. Very, very simple. But... Let's take this a step further and go just a little bit more because we can do that. When you see repeat one time, that means that it's only gonna say it one time. When I move up to the next value, I'm not moving up in two times or three times. That's not how it works. I'm actually moving up in time. So when I go up, I'm gonna go up 10 seconds or 30 seconds or 
one second and during those times are going to be the times that it's going to play that track. So for example, if I just say one second, you can only imagine what that's going to sound like and let's try it. So I'm in one second. Let's click it. Here goes the switch. Oh, that's not very loud. Anybody who is struggling with sound that they cannot hear it in a previous video, we did go over how to set up your volume on a global switch, and we did S2. So with the switch on, you can hardly hear it, but watch this. Now it's loud and clear. And every one second, maybe you want that. Let me stop it. Maybe you want that for a certain reason, and that's what that's for. But as you see, we can progress two, three, four, five, and it just goes on and on, I think all the way up to a minute. And that is correct, 60 seconds. So if I select that and I disarm, every 60 seconds, it's going to say disarmed or whichever track that you have selected for it to sound. Here's something else I want to show you. If we go below one times, we're going to get a special indicator. And I want to teach you about that because this is pretty cool. So now it's set up in one time and everything is enabled. If I return, watch what was to happen if I power up this radio. It's going to say disarmed during power up because I am disarmed. And that is a warning of the keys, which is very important because maybe when you're powering up, it's armed or turtle mode is on, or something crazy is on, and it wants you to know, hey, that is on. That value is present right now. So watch, we have that value on and present. We are disarmed. So I'm gonna power down the radio. Holy cow, you saw how quick that power down? Yes, we went over that in a previous video, but. Welcome to HTX. Listen. Switch warning. Disarmed. Disarmed. Why am I hearing disarm when I power up my radio? Well, that's because this is enabled. All right. Is hearing disarm that big of a deal? No, it's not. But guess what would be? If I had 10 sounds on 10 switches and they were all selected and then I powered up my radio every single time and now I got to hear it say, radio is disarm, bam, bam, rudder up, bam, 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 I don't want to hear all those. Maybe you do. I don't, but I want to show you how to not have to deal with that. So we're going to head back into where we were, model setup, special functions, and inside of here, we're going to edit this. And down here where it says repeat one times, I'm going to select and I'm going to go negative one time. And I received an exclamation point one times. If I select that, and I have the radio in disarm mode, watch. Disarmed. Now I'm gonna power down, and I'm gonna power up. Welcome to HTX, switch warning. No sound. <laughs> so I can now have as many switches as I want with as many sounds as I want, and it doesn't matter if they're flicked or triggered or untriggered unless you want to know. So maybe you got them all off, but if it's armed, you want to know, hey, let me know if I'm armed, okay? All right, so that's how you set up a switch. Let's go over this a little bit here because I think it's important that everybody knows you can set up to like 60 of these or something crazy. You can set up a lot of these. And the triggers here are any switches you want and if I head over here to value, keep in mind there are so many. Watch this. This just goes on and on and on. So I recommend that you just take a minute and flip through these. Hear them. Throw it in the computer. Listen to them on the computer. Whatever makes you happy. But watch this. And you could just have some fun and the more gyroscope the more you hear the more sounds you know are there the more creative you can get with your tuning of your switches 
with sounds and that makes it a lot of fun. All right, pilots, that is going to do it for the very simple how to program sounds to switches. Now you know how to do that. You can get creative and do it on all your switches, all you want and have as much fun as you would like. If you're interested in something more advanced, like putting custom sounds or programming special pre-programmed sounds, but in different places, Sit tight and hold on to your steering wheel because coming up is going to be those videos. So I hope that you're following along with this playlist. I hope that you're having as much fun as I am and I will see you on the next one.